Carl, the VMP580 feeder machine. I know you've had it a few years now, but how's it performed for you? Excellent machine. We've had it, well, more than a few years. We've actually had it now over five years. Um, very great, very compact machine. Um, 12,000 RPM spindle speed, linear guideways. No, no, no issues at all with maintenance. The machine's performed impeccably over five years. Uh, so how much downtime over that period? No, no downtime because of machine issues, um, obviously setups and maintenance and um, those, side, those side of things, but no, no downtime. It's been an impeccable machine for us, yeah. I know it's quite a small footprint. You get a lot, a lot of bang for your buck, don't you? A lot of it's a large machining envelope for the size of the machine. Yeah, we find on this machine, on the 580, we're generally machining smaller components, so we're not using the full travel um, on this machine anyway and it is a compact machine so it doesn't take you can see we've not got a lot of room in the factory now and it doesn't take a lot of room up and it's a big plus spindle as well isn't it it is so that can help us with our tool holding um, obviously more accurate on a big plus tapered tool holding setup but um, yeah good machine what type of components you're making on the feeler so on, on the feeler where we've got the Lehman 3 plus 2 we do a lot of five-sided work uh, we generally don't take the unit off of the bed of the machine although you can um, so we're, we're machining complex, smaller, lighter um, milled components. A lot of plastic work, aluminium, brass, and some stainless on it. And I recognise this component. What is it? Yeah, you, so we're well known for the SOEs now. This is a Macrolon version of the SOE. We machine this on the, on the Lehman's unit um, using five-sided capability with that unit. You've mentioned the rotary table comes off occasionally. Is that for this component? Yeah, we'll take the rotary table off and machine parts up to 580 mil on here. This is actually a spare for one of our machines, so we are precision engineers and sometimes we use our own capabilities to manufacture these parts. And I noticed that the surface finish is impeccable, isn't it? Yeah, well, we use um, up to 12,000 RPM spindle speed on the feeler and obviously with our, our Mastercam CAD CAM software, we're programming all our tool paths offline and get a finished component like this. What options did you take on the machine? So Joe, with this machine, a lot of, um, a lot of what you see actually came as standard. Um, we, we optioned up the 3 plus 2 unit from Lehman, um, but everything else came with the machine. So, you know, our lights, um, fan out control unit we spec'd, coolant guns, all, all part of the machine package, good value. So you've had the feeler five years now and you, you seem quite happy. If you're going to buy another machine, would you look at feeler? Yeah, we'd certainly consider feeler again. Um, we're now looking into simultaneous five axis. The three plus two unit has led us in that direction. We need a dedicated machine for that. So certainly consider feeler for, for our next machine tool purchase.